In this short class we're going to use Microsoft Excel, the spreadsheet, to calculate the mean, median and mode for a small set of numbers. Needless to say, in business the sets of numbers may be quite large, but the same techniques may be used, so the same way of doing it may be implied even with larger data sets. So let's have, um, let's have a look at a small data set for a start. I'll just put the cursor onto the screen. Here we have a data set of uh, starts at 4, 1, 6, 2, 6, 7, 8. So we've got, first of all, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We've got 7 data points. Now, if we're going to calculate the median, the middle one, one technique is to, um, sorry, one technique is to just reorder the, uh, the, the numbers so that you can find the middle one easily. In this case the middle one would be 6 because uh, it would fall in there somewhere. So that's the middle number which would be the median. However you can use Excel to calculate these if you want. First of all let's look at this count number here. It's got seven. We know there are seven data points. If you click on it and look at the formula at the top sorry I just moved the screen off. If I click on the count and just look at the, the formula on the top here we've got equals count C4 to C10. Well here is C4. C4 is 1 and C10 is 8. So what the formula here is telling us to count the numbers between the cells and including the cells C4 to C10. So count that range of numbers. And when you do it you find 7. The answer is 7 because there are 7 data points. We just counted them earlier. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there are 7 of them. Now let's go back to talk about the, the median. Well the median is the middle point. Here's the original set of numbers again. Uh, I've just written the mean on top here. In fact we don't need that for the moment, we'll just take it out. Um, here's the original set of numbers, the ones from over here. It's just written over here. Now, if I want the, the mean, the average, I can just again in Excel there's a formula. We type in the equal sign average and we tell it the average of what? The average of F4 to F10. Here's F4 and here is F10. The F column and the tenth row. So the mean can be calculated straight away from Excel. The median is done in exactly the same way. Just equals median C4 to C10 and that's it. You could do it on the original or on the ordered. It doesn't matter which way you go. This is the reordered set of numbers. The median is C4 to C10. Here it's A4 to uh, A10. It's the same set of numbers except one is in order and the other is not in order. But you'll see that the, the number is the same. The median is still the same. 6. The median is just the number, the count, in this case the count is 7. It's the count plus 1 divided by 2. So 7 plus 1 divided by 2 equals 4. Now if you count down you go 1, 2, 3, 4. That's the median. That's the what the formula tells us. It's the, the count plus 1 divided by 2 equals 4. So it's the fourth number when it's reordered. If it's a large set of data, reordering it can be time consuming. So just use Excel. Enter it into Excel and use median and it'll work it out for you. The mode is done in exactly the same way. The mode is the most popular number in a set. And in this case you can see that there are two sixes. So six is more popular than say four. There's only one four, 
one seven, one eight, and so on. But there are two sixes, so six is the modal number. That's the most popular number. It appears over here as six and six. It appears twice. Here it's the ordered set, it appears twice. And you can just type in um, mode and tell it the the original data which was A4 to A10 so you're looking for the mode A4 to A10 over there and that's it 6. Now the range of a set of numbers is the difference between its maximum and minimum values that's the range. It's the range over which the numbers are spread so you find the minimum and the maximum. In fact, the range is just the maximum number minus the minimum number. The max minus the min. And that's what this formula is doing up here. I just typed this one in because Excel doesn't have a range command. You have to make it yourself. So this is simply it. It's the maximum of A4 to A10. The maximum number in there, which looks like looks like an 8, that's the maximum number, minus the minimum number in the range A4 to A10. A4 to A10, the minimum number is 1. So it's the maximum minus the minimum. The maximum is 8, minus the minimum is 1, 8 minus 1, down here, 7. So you can use Excel to work out the basic statistics very, very simply. Sometimes, however, the data is grouped. If you look at this set of data, um, the data is grouped. It ranges from 101 to 120, 121 to 130, and so on. So the, da the data is grouped into numbers like this. And we also have a frequency here. It tells us the number in each group. So here there's, a, there's seven in this one, and there's 5 between 131 to 140. There's 2 between 161 to 171. And in total, there is 23, which I've just done as sum D4 to D10. Sum D4 to D10 on the top. So now we've got a total of 23. Now the way we do this is we get the midpoints. Well, the midpoint can be calculated in various ways. Uh, the most obvious way is, I suppose, add 101 to 120, which is 221. A half of 221 is uh, 110.5. 110.5. 121 plus 130, which is 251. Divide that by 2, take the average. 251 is 125 and a half. There. Just for the fun of it, I've done it differently. Um, I've just used this little formula, which you can think about and see what I've done there. Uh, it's, a, it's a very straightforward calculation. I've taken the difference between the numbers and halved it and added it on to the first one. It's the same thing. Probably the easiest way, however, is just add that to that and take the average, which gives you that. Anyway, now we've got the midpoints. At least we're assuming these are the midpoints. Um, in fact, we don't know if they are the midpoints or not, but we'll say that they are. And the frequency is over here. What we do is we multiply midpoint times its frequency. So it's 110.5 times, sorry, times 1, which is 110 times 5. 125.5 times 3 is 376.5. So it's fx, f for frequency, x for the midpoint. fx, multiply the two together. And when we add it up, we get this. We use um, sigma here, this little symbol here, sigma is the capital for S in the Greek alphabet. So we use sigma fx. It means add up 
all of the fx's. So add up all of this column. We write it as sigma fx. That's what that means. Add up fx. Add up everything here. So sigma fx equals and I've just put in a little formula up here to do it. Sum i4 to i10. i4 to i10. So sum up that number we get that. Now the mean is just this number divided by this one over here which is 144.2. So the average over here is 144.2. It falls in here and that's the average of those numbers. Now, that's all we need to do here. So, it's a very simple, straightforward little calculation. Just a simple way of using Excel. Um, practice it and get used to using the little function here, the insert a function. That's the, the functions we're inserting. Anything after the equal sign is the function. You'll find there's a wide range of functions that can be used in business. And we'll be looking at some more in other videos. But for the meantime, that's all I need to do on here, so thank you for watching.